Okay, so I'm gonna be using Sempertex Fashion Green in 18 inch, 12 inch, and five inch. So this is an 18 inch balloon that I underinflated to 17 inches, and this is gonna be my reference balloon. I'm just eyeing my balloon sizes. You can get a balloon sizer. They do have like balloon sizers for bigger balloons, but I'm just eyeing it and comparing it to my reference balloon. So I'm gonna tie two balloons into a dupe, and then I'm gonna blow up two more balloons and I'm going to eye those, comparing those to my original reference balloon, releasing air to get it down to 17 inches. I also wanna make sure my balloons are rounded out so you can press them against the table or press them against your hand and release some air because the balloons look better rounded, as you can see. And now I'm gonna be tying three balloons together into a cluster of three. And then I'm gonna take that original dupe that I made and then twist the balloons together into a cluster of five. So now I'm gonna be blowing up some more balloons, but this time I'm gonna blow them up to 15 inches. So I'm still using those 18 inch balloons, Sempertex balloons, and I'm just under inflating them to 15 inches now. And then again, I'm just eyeing them using the first balloons I blew up as a reference balloon. And I'm tying two balloons into a dupe and then three balloons together into a small cluster. And then I'm gonna take that three balloon cluster and that dupe and twist them together two times to make a cluster of five balloons. And I'm just gonna be repeating this process going down in size. So now I'm doing 13 inches and it's just the same process, just eyeing my balloon sizes, rounding the balloons out and tying them together two balloons into a dupe and three balloons together into a small cluster. And then I'm gonna take the dupe and the three balloon cluster and twist them together two times for a cluster of five balloons. So now I'm blowing these balloons up to 11 inches and I am still using those 18 inch Sempertex balloons. Okay, I, I like how they look with the 11 inches here. It makes the balloon still look very round and full. So now I'm using my 12 inch Sempertex balloons and I've under inflated them to nine inches. So I'm eyeing the sizes, tying them together, two into a dupe and three into a cluster of three. And then I'm gonna twist the dupe and the cluster of three together into a cluster of five. Now I'm under inflating my 12 inch balloons to seven inches and I'm gonna repeat the process. So the first four sizes, I used the 18 inch balloons. And now for the next three sizes, I'm gonna be using the 12 inch balloons. So I'm gonna make one more layer of 12 inch balloons under inflated to six inches. Now, once you make all of your clusters, you're gonna take the biggest cluster and you're gonna lay it down flat. You're gonna take the second biggest cluster and lay it down flat on top of the biggest one. Now you're gonna tie the necks of the balloons together. So you're gonna take one neck from one balloon in the top cluster, a neck from the balloon in the bottom cluster and tie it together. Let me show you up close right there. And then you're just gonna repeat the process. You're gonna take the next largest cluster. You're gonna take one neck from one balloon in that cluster and tie it to one neck from one balloon in the cluster directly below it. Make sure that those clusters are laying flat on top of each other. Now, as you're tying these balloons together, if the balloons start popping up like the little clusters don't wanna lay flat, don't worry about it. As soon as you tie those clusters together, like I'm showing you right now, it will help the balloons to lay down flat. So you see they're laying down flat once you tie them together. So again, take one neck from one balloon in that top cluster and tie it to a neck from a balloon in the cluster directly below it. And that's gonna keep those layers laying down flat. Now you see that cluster's a little bit um, out of sync there, but once I tie it down, then I'm gonna be able to move it over and flatten it down. You wanna make sure those balloons are in between each other too. That's what's gonna help it lay flat.
Now I'm going to take my five inch Sempertex balloons and I'm going to blow them up to about four inches. Now I'm going to tie them together just like I did the other balloons, two balloons together in the dupe and three balloons together in the cluster. And then I'm going to double twist them together into a cluster of five. Now I'm going to be using a 260 balloon, which is those balloons you make balloon animals out of, tie it to that small cluster and then use that to attach it to the tree because um, those necks are a little small to be trying to tie to the larger neck of the balloon directly below it. Now I'm going to be taking some 5 inch Sempertex Fashion Red Balloons. I'm going to be blowing them up to about 3 and a half inches. And I'm going to tie them together into clusters of 3. Then I'm going to take a half of a 260 balloon. Tie it around that cluster of 3. And then tie that to the tree. So I'm just going to wrap that 260 balloon around one of the balloons in that tree and then tie the 260 into itself and i ended up adding about six or seven of those clusters of three now how many of these clusters you make is up to you if you're going to be showing the whole tree then you're going to put clusters all around the tree but if you're only going to show one side of the tree then you only need to make enough clusters to show that one side of the tree and you don't have to fill every single gap up okay i'm going to be using some other balloons to fill up other um gaps in this tree so now I'm making a starburst balloon. I'm blowing up the little um, star pieces and I'm tying them together. There's a little tie on each of those. So you just tie them together. And I tie together six of these. Then once you tie them all together, you're just gonna twist the balloons together in the center until it's nice and stiff and it's not um, going anywhere. You want them all to stick out like a star. So make sure that center is nice and stiff. Then I'm going to take a 260 balloon, tie it around there, and then tie it onto the tree. Now I blew up some small foil candy canes and I'm using some glue dashes to put these candy canes onto the tree. First, I am attaching the tack portion to the candy cane so it's not sticking out. And then I'm gonna put a glue dash onto the actual latex balloons and then put the foil candy cane on the glue dash. So I find it easier to put the glue dash on the latex rather than the foil balloon. Now here's the finished product to the balloon Christmas tree. Now you can make your Christmas tree whatever way you wanna make it, whatever colors, whatever toppers you wanna use, it's all up to you. I just wanted to give you guys a general format on how I make my balloon Christmas tree. Also, if you wanted to add some extra weight, just fill a small balloon with some water, tie it and use a 260 balloon to attach it to the bottom of the Christmas tree so that the Christmas tree will not fall over. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, go ahead on and like it and please subscribe and you'll get notifications on future videos on balloon and event decor. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.